What's going on, everyone? So things are uh, obviously we didn't open up bullishly overnight, but at the moment we're still holding support on the major indices and things overall look a little bullish. So we alerted some more lotto calls overnight. Obviously, the lotto calls that we posted yesterday did not work, um, but hopefully into tomorrow we could uh, continue on upwards. And again, once we are, you know, things are looking strong, I'm going to show you guys my whole thought process but when things do look like do look strong like this uh shoot or shoot so we, <laughs> we have to take our shots so uh yeah we're gonna take uh we're gonna talk about the spy the nasdaq the iwm 30-year bonds the large tech stocks and of course the crypto markets and um we're gonna take a look at a few different things and uh, on a few different time frames as well so without further ado let's get started with the video all right so here's a chart of the spy overall at these levels Overall, in the entire market, I am bullish. All right. I think that these are somewhat bottoms until levels of support get breaking down below. Currently, we held 420 perfectly today. All right. Uh, and the indicators are still oversold here on the MACD. The RSI is still showing strength. Um, and we had a pretty nice reversal back up into uh, yesterday. So, of course, tomorrow, a lot can happen. I'm not completely convinced that we're not going to break down below 420 which is why i only entered a small position um right a lotto call expiring tomorrow so if we are to like really open up hard tomorrow like uh with strength these calls are going to be up at least 100 200 percent so um and it's worth taking a shot at that this at these levels here in my opinion so uh, also, we can see that the Bollinger Bands are also moving upwards. So the lower extreme on the SPY is increasing. Therefore, that means that the the bottom on the SPY in terms of algorithm is um, increasing as well. So that's a good sign. So the other thing that I want to look at. So obviously, we can see that things are holding support. The MACD is oversold. Things still look like there's more room to the upside. It's fine, right? The other thing I want to look at is the ES Futures. So on the daily chart, all right, we can also see obviously we're holding above levels of support, all right? It's fine. Uh, the daily looks similar to the MACD on the, the SPY chart as well, oversold as well. Now, this is something that I've been like monitoring as well recently, like a lot. Looking at the four hour chart on everything as well really helps give a much better uh, view to everything. So the four hour chart on the ES. We're breaking. All right, so look, this is the four hour chart. All right, the MACD line on the four hour is cl clearly moving upwards, which is bullish. This is clearly a bull flag, right? Again, it's very bullish. And we're oversold on the MACD here for the blue line. All right, so that means that there's still way more room to the upside. We're basically breaking above levels of support. And like that's a good sign that the spy can continue on higher. Okay, so when there is a setup like this, it's a good, you know, like it, it, this definitely isn't bearish. So, uh, you know, that's my thought process of why I wanted to go long on the spy overnight, and I hope you guys see that as well. Next, we're gonna take a look at the IWM and also the uh, Russell futures. All right, all right. So this is a chart of the IWM. All right. Clearly, we can see that we broke back above this downtrend level again, and we closed right below 200, which is fine, right? Uh, the fact that we closed back above this uh, trend line is more important, in my opinion. And we can also see that the overall yellow MACD line is falling. Uh, the blue MACD line looks like it's about to cross up above, and it's a good sign that we're crossing back above into, um, you know, levels of... Uh, you know, uh, breaking above levels of resistance. So that's bullish as well. The RSI also looks bullish. And um, so this is just very simple. Like 200 is the next level of resistance. Then 20150 is going to be the next level of resistance. When the IWM is showing this much strength like this, it's a good sign that the SPY and the NASDAQ will also end up following. So overall, it's a good sign that, you know, the market can continue bouncing tomorrow. Okay. So there's... This is the IWM, all right? And keep in mind that the yellow MACD line on the daily chart of the IWM is falling. 
All right now when we look at the russell futures uh we see a different picture as well so this looks different this looks you know you can clearly see it's like a different candle and um when you look at it on the four hour chart the yellow macd line is bullish it's moving upwards the blue macd line is still oversold and again we have this bullish formation and bullish structure on the russell so again guys this is very very bullish in my opinion so overall we what we just saw is the spy and the russell both look very very bullish um so you know you have to take a stab at these plays right if they don't work out overnight that's fine but when they give nice setups like this you have to take them so there's that for the russell and the spy uh, next, let's take a look at the large tech stocks, the 30-year bond, and the NASDAQ. All right, Apple, uh, this, is, this doesn't look the most bullish, um, but we're still oversold on the MACD. Uh, we did have a strong reversal back on the RSI, which is decent, right? If we had a strong move like this to the downside, right, these two candles, yet the RSI barely moved downwards, that would be very, very bearish. But, you know, the fact that we see the sensitivity is fine. Um, but again, you know, this isn't, this is clearly not the most bullish thing. All right. Um, so we got into lateral calls, right? Uh, so Apple doesn't really look super, super bullish. Amazon does because they had uh, the news of the split as well as the, you know, the buyback program that they had. Uh, the MACD is also oversold. The RSI is moving upwards. So again, Apple and Amazon's Mac, these are still oversold. Take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft sort of looks similar to what the SPY did. Uh, it like opened up very low and it basically closed into yesterday's candle. Also, the MACD is still oversold as well. So it sort of, you know, held that support. Google also similarly held that support. Today was the first day it just crossed above on the MACD, which means that there is at least another day or two of upwards movement after this crossover so um you know 2660 is going to be the level of resistance for google and then um 2750 is going to be the next main level of resistance so there's that for those and now when we take a look at tesla tesla is clearly in a bull flag still right the macd did not even fall below it didn't even get oversold here all right you could see that this blue macd line did not fall below which is very, very bullish. Um, so overall, this is still clearly a bull flag formation, right? Uh, and now we just need to really break above 865, really. And then we basically break above the top of this bull flag, and then we can start breaking out. And um, that would happen if the market bounces tomorrow, in my opinion. So what we saw is basically the large tech stocks um, are either holding support or i mean they're holding support and they're breaking um sorry they're holding support and they're oversold on the macd's and that's really that for uh the tech stocks and now i want to take a look at the 30-year bond and then the nasdaq and uh the nasdaq futures all right so the 30-year bond's clearly falling we came back and filled this uh gap that i said would needed to be filled at 155.05 and you can clearly see that we're holding that level cur currently. And um, now, essentially, we just need to see if this level can hold. All right. What could end up happening is since this MACD is falling so sharply, um, we could end up retesting 153.29. But basically, what this means for the stock market is the fact that this blue MACD line is still showing strength means that we can find a bottom here and then continue on higher. All right. That's basically what. I think can end up happening on the bonds. All right, there's that for the bonds. Uh, now let's take a look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ, once again, held support, uh, reversed from a pretty terrible day overall uh, in the market, right? We fell very, very sharply, came back and um, showed some strength somewhat into the close, right? The MACD is oversold. This yellow MACD line is still falling lower on the daily. Okay, so now when we look at the four hour chart on the, uh, the futures, I want you guys to take this into consideration. All right, so the RSI is also falling lower, 
and we closed right below uh 333 resistance so obviously 333 and then 335 are going to be 333 and 334 are going to be key levels of resistance once those break um all of these other tech sectors uh tech stocks that we were holding that we were watching holding at support and that were still oversold on the macd um basically can break up above and it's still a bullish sign that the macd line is moving upwards the blue macd line is moving upwards to get crossed over so you have to take a stab to the upside so there's that for this right now let's take a look at the nasdaq futures all right so the daily chart uh, like similar currently to the uh the qqq right um oversold held support right but now when we look at it on the four hour chart <clears throat> once again this momentum is prevalent <laughs> along like for everything for the spy the iwm and for the nasdaq on the four hour chart you can see that the, the yellow macd line is clearly moving upwards whereas on the daily chart it was moving downwards right you can see right now it's clearly in a bullish momentum which is good we're breaking above support or resistance which is also good and um overall this isn't a reason to go short just yet okay uh we could end up opening higher tomorrow but we could end up opening lower but again this is a bull flag formation so when we have a formation like this you have to go long and it's not a high conviction long that's why i wanted to just go long with lateral calls all right and also you can clearly see that the blue magd line is um very oversold now so this does mean that there's a lot more room to the upside for everything so um really there's that for the stock market and next i want to take a look at bitcoin because that'll really help uh, solidify everything but overall what we see is the four hour charts on all of the futures look bullish the indicators still look bullish as well um and uh things are still oversold in terms of the macd's and things held support so you know there's that so let's go ahead and take a look at bitcoin now all right so this is the daily chart clearly this big handle is not the most bullish thing all right but what is bullish is that we're holding at a level of support and also the yellow macd line the momentum of bitcoin is now starting to move bullishly as well also uh the blue macd line is still oversold which means that there's a lot more room to the upside if we were to cross over so overall the fact that we're at support there's still momentum to the upside is still a bullish sign all right so of course you know if this level breaks the main level that would really need to hold is going to be like thirty-eight thousand. If 38,000 fails, then we're going to see 35 to 36. But currently, this is showing strength. All right. And the other thing is when you look at it on a four hour chart, the MACD is much more oversold, which means that there is much more room to the upside. And we have not yet even crossed above yet. And it looks like we're about to break above 39.6. And then if we can really, really cross above 40,000, uh, maybe. 40 this high here which is 43 40,300 um within the next you know six within the next eight hours if we can cross above 40,300 um that would basically make it so that we cross above major levels of resistance before getting over bought before this macd crosses above and that would be very very bullish so if that happens then the market is going to end up bouncing as well and things should be bullish into tomorrow's open all right so um really there's that for the overall market i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys tomorrow thank you